Family, I want to address the mess that's been going down in our community. I am completely shocked and appalled okay, at it. Wait a minute. Cut, cut. What? Why? You're smiling. You're smiling. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Look at the playback. Family, I want to address the mess that's been going down in our community. Well, I, I guess I am. completely shocked and appalled at it. Would you like to try it again? No. No. Um... I'll just I'll just do it I'll just do it tomorrow or do it another time. I'll probably just do it tomorrow. Okay, we'll wrap it up okay. until tomorrow. All right, everybody kill it. <laughs> Try again tomorrow. I have got to practice my fake outrage. Peace family, welcome back to Ayapo Yapa. I'm Ayapo, and I thank you for tuning in. Uh, this isn't going to turn into a rant like my last video. Uh, I was pretty upset. I've calmed down some. I've calmed down some, and I'm going to try to keep my shares a little shorter. But um, we'll see how it goes. But I'm really going to try. Uh, I'm still, um, I'm still a little heated about this whole um, Me Too thing and the Golden Globes and and what happened there. And it's not because I don't believe that women have the have the right to just be safe, to not be harassed, and so on. My issue is that it doesn't extend to all women. This feminist agenda does not does not extend to all women. This is only about white women and white women know it but they try to uh, recruit our women to use on the front lines so that they can once again stand in in unity with them you know get get things done for them and then after it's done they can just uh, the, the white women can just turn on them once again turn on our women once again and our people look Throughout history, it's been proven that white women have never had anything, have never had any real interest in doing what's right by black people in general. Uh, in, in one of my other videos, I, I brought up the Casual Killing Act. The Casual Killing Act was put in place because white women were killing our children. They were beating them to death and doing, and doing whatever to them. But, uh, and so what happened was they had to come up with a law that basically excused them from, uh, from doing that. Now they put it under the blanket of, uh, this is like any slave owner, but it was indeed specifically put in place for, because so many white women were killing our children. And these are the people who try to act like they're just so loving and so caring and all this bull. I need to calm down. I feel myself getting upset just talking about it. When Oprah was at the Glo the Golden Globes, and I now I did not see the broadcast because I don't watch award shows. But I mean, in the in the you know the play by play that they show the morning after, when she brought up Reese Taylor, I <laughs> oh my god, when she brought up when she brought up Reese Taylor, I, I was enraged. How dare you bring her up in front of all of these white women, these white women who, under different circumstances, would would watch what was going on with her and what happened to her and say nothing, which actually they actually they did, because nothing ever nothing ever happened to the people to the to the white men who who raped and brutalized her. Now, 
you know that I have a tendency to use analogies for everything, and it's just because that's the main, the way that my mind works. Okay, so just follow my line of reasoning and what I was saying about all this fake outrage that these women, especially these Hollywood women, act like they feel. If you were to go to like the average black person on the street and ask them, what do you think about that whole thing between uh, Tariq and Umar? They price say, Tariq who? Umar what? You go to go to white people and say, what do you think about this thing that happened between Tariq and Umar? Who, what's an Umar? You know, is that like Uber? What's a, what's a Tariq? What, what, what is that? But if you go to people in our community and say, what do you think about this thing between Tariq and Omar? They, they'll give you, or Umar, they would give you what they think. You know, based upon all the scuttlebutt, rumors, what, whatever. This isn't about Tariq and Umar. This is, I'm, I'm making a point. The reason that we know this in, in these communities, especially this, um, uh, you know, the, the, um, social media community is because this this is our circle. These are the circles we travel in. So even if something is just rumor, we know about it, whether we believe it or not. We know about it. We're aware of it. Okay? Now I think you see what I'm getting at. You have these people in Hollywood who live inside this bubble who's traveling all these circles, go to the same dinner parties, know the same people. Okay? You, there's no way in hell they don't, they didn't already know all these things were going on. No way. There's no way. That's, there's no way. That's like, that's like someone who, that's like one of us who has been, uh, in, who has been in social media in our circles for any amount of time. Not claiming that we don't know anything about uh, what what you know the the whole uh, Umar and Tariq and uh, uh, Doctor Boyce thing. We there's there's no way that we don't know. Okay, if, if we've been in this environment for any amount of time, there is no way. Even if even if we don't believe any of it, even if we discount it, we still are aware of it. So you get these freaking people that I'm getting mad, brother. You get these white women who pretend like Harvey Weinstein did what? What are you talking about? They, 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 did, they did what? Uh, Kevin Spacey did what? Really? Even if you didn't believe any of it, Oprah, even if you didn't believe any of it, you knew about it. You heard about it. Even if you discounted it, you still heard about it. There's no way that you couldn't have because of the, tra the, the circles in which you travel. And you know how they can, you, you know how they can fake outrage so well? Freaking actors. You're, you're talking about people who, for a living, do sex scenes convincingly who die on screen convincingly, who do everything on screen convincingly to the point that they get awards for it. You don't think they can't fake a little outrage? They're a bunch of freaking acting phonies. And so they act like they're so outraged. They're not, they're acting because they're freaking actors. Okay, so what's the, what's the bigger point, though? The bigger point is that in all of this, they're trying to recruit. If, if you were to leave our people out of it, especially invoking a, a name like Reese Taylor, how dare you? Leave our people out of it, and you guys have at it. You go and do what you, whatever it is you're going to do. Have at it. Tear yourself to pieces. Have a ball. But leave our people out of your mess. Black feminists, you need to get a clue. You need to get a clue. Where were the black feminists, or, or, or where were the feminists when, when uh, uh, Toya uh, Figueroa disappeared? 
Where were they? Everybody was falling all over themselves over Natalie Holloway. She disappeared a couple months earlier. But then Latoya disappeared. Nobody, nobody ever heard of her. You have women, you have black women disappearing in Cleveland in, in, in large numbers. Where were all the feminists? Where? Where were all the activists? Where were all these people? So, the only thing, as I said in one of my other, in one of my other shares, the one thing that white women don't have that their white counterpart men have is the ability to oppress everyone. That's what they want. Once they get that, they'll be fine. Once the once their counterparts' boots are off their neck and they have the same power to share power and equally oppress everybody, they'll be fine. Man, woman, boy, girl. Doesn't matter. They will be fine as long as they get into as long as they can get into the position of their of the oppressor and not the oppressed. So to our 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 sisters, our black sisters who consider themselves to be feminists, you need to get a clue. And black men will protect you. The real ones will. Real black men will circle the wagons and protect you. And protect your rights. It's been that way historically. Historically, black women have been the only, the only group who has ever stood up for black men. That's just, a, that's an undeniable fact. There's, there's no way to, there's no way to dispute that. Any, so if you get like black men bashing black women and then say black women don't care about black men and blah, 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 and all this crap, historically, study your freaking history, black women have been the only group on earth who has ever stood behind and beside the black man and vice versa. The black man has always always only been the only group who has stood by and protected the black woman. Real black men and real black women. So we need to stop getting at each other's throats. You know, get off of this, this, this fake gender war crap, this manufactured gender war crap, and get our heads off our butts and see what's in front of us. But as far as all this, all this, you know, Oprah for president, and all the, God, help me. <laughs> okay. Um, it's, it's, I guess it's like, I can't talk about this without going into a rant. So I'm going to cut this here. Family, I love you. Like, share, subscribe. By all means, comment. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. I'm sorry if this one was a little bit choppy, but I realized that this is an issue that I could barely talk about without getting really upset. I don't like the I don't like the phoniness. I don't like the fake outrage, and I don't like the way that once again someone is trying to put our people into a position of being used just so that they can discard us. After we help them to get to what, get what they want, stop letting stop letting people freaking use you. Stop letting people use us. I'm talking to myself too. I love you. Peace. <laughs> and I love you, family. Peace and blessings.